Hello Doers and welcome to this point of sale tutorial. Today we'll show you how to set up the preparation display and how both employees and customers can use it. The preparation display is a feature that sends orders from the point of sale to a secondary screen, helping the preparation team know exactly what to make. If you're ready, let's dive into it. All right, so first up, we'll go into our point of sale, configuration and settings. And let me just search for uh, preparation display really quick, just to ensure that this feature is enabled. It is in this case, so that's great. And next up, we will need to set up our uh, preparation display. So we will go to orders and preparation display. We will click on new um, and we will uh, configure the settings. So we'll call it the Swift backroom and we will link it to our point of sale, our uh, Swift Byte shop. And then here we can select the product categories. So in this case, we only want to receive drinks as the food items in this point of sale are already prepared. So let me just choose it from the list. And then you can see that by default, three stages are already created. So of course, uh, we can customize or we can even add another stage here. We can select a color for it. Um, and we can also set up uh, alert, uh, time alert, which uh, allows us to prioritize orders and ensure that our customers receive the orders promptly. Um, but you know what? This uh, default uh, configuration is actually okay for me, so I'm going to remove this. And our preparation display is ready, so let's go ahead and take it for a spin. We will go into our dashboard and open our Swift Byte uh, point of sale. Now, let's say that we have a customer coming in and they order our bark cakes, our uh, puppuccino and a latte. We will click on uh, payment here to process it. Um, let's say that the customer paid by cash and we will vi validate this. Um, now, once the um, receipt is generated, you also see that the customer has a number here, uh, which they can use uh, to follow up on the preparation display. Now, just keep in mind that this is uh, important for a point of sale that's a shop, but if you had a restaurant set up, the order would actually get sent to the preparation display as soon as we click on order. There is actually no need for customer to complete the payment first. All right, let's uh, go into our preparation display and see the results. So I will go again to orders and preparation display. And you see that our preparation displays are appearing as cards on the screen. So here for the Swift backroom, we have the preparation screen, which is something that our employees will use. And then there's also the order status screen, which is important for the customers. So let's take a look at the preparation screen first. Um, and we see that we have one order um, that needs to be prepared. Uh, also display these cards here and they have the order number here at the top. And as items are being prepared, they can be marked as ready. So here we have the puppuccino, let's say we've done this, and the latte as well. And the order disappears from this stage and gets moved to the next stage, which is ready. And then um, in the same logic, if we crossed out the items, then it will be moved to completed. Now let's uh, take a look at the order status screen. So what the customer sees on their side. And we see that one order, the one that we've just uh, prepared the items for, is ready. And also if we had any ongoing orders, that would be in the um, almost there section. Um, and this way our customers know when their orders are ready to be collected or if they need to wait a little bit longer. All right, that is it from our side. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.